Caddis Maximus here, this time with a review of this Am- charger that I got off at of Amazon. It sold as a high trend. <laughs> I call it the Amazon charger. And uh, this is a pretty cool little USB power brick charger. Full quick call, quick Qualcomm, excuse me, Quick Charge 3.0 as well as USB-C power delivery charger. That's, those specifications rate up to 36 watts of total power, although the company making these, the communications between the engineering department and the sales and marketing have had, you know, need to work on them. There's some issues because that's what the specifications, although they have the specifications printed on the bottom of the charger versus the Amazon website. Versus the actual manufacturer website I found on Alibaba. <laughs> have different numbers. And it's just a little bit amusing. Uh, as far as my testing, I believe it does deliver on the full specification. At least the best that I can do. And part of picking up this charger was an adventure of getting the, this little DJI charger to actually quick charge properly without having to use the specific charger that it came with and the specific USB cables. And I did learn that you do need quick charge compatible USB cables because they are 24 gauge power wires instead of 28 gauge. Every uh, cable that I thought was great, I've learned really isn't. And that's the neat thing is, as you can see here, this charger does indeed have an LED display on it. And it is LED, not LCD. And I need to slow my shutter speed and so it doesn't flicker but it is using some pulse modulation to drive this LCD and it will display the voltage as well as the amperage and it will oscillate back and forth once you have something plugged in and it lets you know if your cables are working properly I think it's probably as far as searching on Amazon this was the only charger that was like this a little USB brick with a display I kinda thought that there would be tons of these and I started hunting them down but I have this uh, power uh, this Harbor Freight power bank and if I plug it in we can see that uh, now it switches over to the amperage and let me give you a little bit of zoom in there there we go and as we can see and I did test this with the old multimeter I did use a, uh, a fluke here and uh, it's within 0.4 volts it's actually surprisingly accurate and so I'll just sit there and tickle tick back and forth until it's done charging and then once it's done charging after about 30 seconds, so the display will turn off. If you have nothing plugged into it, it'll sit there at the idle voltage, and then the display will also automatically turn off. So it isn't sitting there just burning up the LEDs, which I thought was pretty nice. Anyway, let me zoom back out here. And one of the things that I had learned with this charger is just simply the fact that you can have cables that seem to work properly like this. It's delivering you know, the maximum this is capable of. And I even tried it with DJI special cable. And this was all, you know, once again, just to uh, get the quick charger to work with the, my little bird a little uh, more effectively. And when I use what was a, this black wire from a really high quality product and I plug it into this battery charger here, it just uh, is doing a normal slow charge. And we can see that here. It's really... Uh, n not very nice at all. We can see it's just hitting about a half an amp. Now it's going a little bit above there, but it's just doing a five volt slow charge. And what's interesting is this cable that we just saw delivering 10 watts to this battery bank. This DJI charger just says, oh, you've got a junky cable. And so it's going to limit it to the standard USB five volts at one amp. This charger is variable voltage. It's part of the Quick Charge 3.0 specification is that it is uh, continuously varying the voltage just to see what will happen and what, what part of the negotiation process. So it'll slowly deliver more amps, but it's obviously just not working properly. And what kind of annoys me here is this DJI charger actually says that it's maximum cap it's a triple voltage quick charge, 1.5 amps at 12 volts. And that's actually what this one says on it. But if I use the special high heavy gauge DJI cable, and it's surprising, this is still micro USB. This is even USB-C that we can deliver this many watts. And you can still see, which is good. Let me zoom back in here a little bit. And it immediately knows that it's on a heavy gauge cable. Immediately negotiates um, the 12 volts. And if we just give it a second here, so we already have hit our full 12 volts, 
Uh, it's already over its printed specification, 1.6 amps, 1.72. And so the actual printed quick calm or Qualcomm quick charge says 3 amps at 12 volts. And we can see now that it's delivering 2 amps at 12 volts, which is well above the specifications that are printed on the bottom of the brick itself. So they definitely need to work on that. And that's what leads me to believe that this actually will deliver the proper 36 watts. And what it also does is makes me wonder whether or not this little power brick that came with my super, not super, but expensive little flying piece of electronics is actually delivering. But I do like this little charger. I'll unplug it here and you can see how long the LEDs stay on for. So it actually has a decent amount of capacitance in it. Um, and a bunch of the advertising talks about, uh, since it's all digitally controlled, um, it has all the different overcharges, every form of protection. It even advertises low ripple. You know, I suppose it has overheating protection, short circuit protection, just pretty much uh, everything. Just, uh, the you know, the cheap modern digital chips drive something like this. It's was only 15 bucks, or it was like $16 delivered, but they had like a 5% off coupon. Uh, which is actually pretty decent because even on Alibaba, uh, to get a one unit sample is going to be six fifty and plus another five or six bucks shipping from China. Um, and so whoever somebody just ordered these from China and is now selling them on Amazon for a few bucks markup, and it's at least decent to see that they're not trying to charge double over uh, what would already cost you the cheapest you can get it off Alibaba is, you know, 12 bucks or so. And it could take anywhere from two weeks to two months to get it. And these are actually in stock at an Amazon warehouse. So uh, I was surprised and it's a, uh, it definitely works as advertised. I've tested the USB-C port and it definitely works as advertised. It's tested it with my phone. It's the most, the best device I have for that port. And it definitely hit uh, the quick charge numbers. My phone only does 9 volts, but it hit the, the 9 volts, uh, and it was definitely well recommended. The only thing, uh, I mean, it seems pretty solid, pretty heavy case. Uh, the size of it's interesting because this is an older USB-C 18-watt charger. Uh, this is 9 volts at 2 amps maximum. It's only a dual voltage, and it's about the same height, almost the same darn thickness. And as far as the width... This is just a little bit wider. This delivers twice as much power and gives you the two ports you really want. Classic USB as well as USB-C. And both are support the maximum quick charge. So these should all the new Apple products, all that stuff. The only caveat is if you use both, it's not at the same time. It's not massively powerful. So if you use both ports at the same time, it's going to knock it down to... A slow charge, but not that slow. It'll deliver up to uh, four amps at five volts total, or two amps at each port at five volts. So it'll be a ten watt charge if you use both ports at the same time. At least it allows you to use them both at the same time, um, but it does limit the charge rate. And uh, what seems a little bit odd is is you know nine volts at two amps at two ports is thirty six watts. So you'd think it'd at least be able to do that. But I kind of understand the circuitry. But if you use any port individually, it will absolutely deliver, you know, whatever is the maximum charge rates on any modern tablets or micro laptops, um, any type of modern phones or phablets, any of that stuff. That's what's neat about this charger is it will support the maximum. And if it isn't working as quickly as you think, it's because you have bad cables. And once I had, you know, got a hold of this and was testing with this, it turns out that all these cables, even some that I'd saved that were I thought were really high quality, a little bit thicker uh, than normal wires, really aren't true quick charge cables because they use too thin of a wire. And I believe that's part of the deals. It does some kind of quick little resistance test. And if the resistance is too high, then it stays at five volts. Um, and once you know you actually have quick charge compatible wires, it's neat to go around and take different things that you may have like battery banks and actually see what their maximum rates really are. Anyway, I'm going to end this review of this little charger, but I thought it was super cool because looking on Amazon, there is uh, USB char display chargers or chargers with displays, but they're all like little desktop units and things like that kind of bulky but this is like an actual compact power brick with the display and it's not lcd it's an actual led 
So you get those diagnostics and you know it's you know working at full power and you can tell if you have a cord that you think is good but seems your device seems to be taking longer to charge. You can use something like this to say, oh, you know, it's actually gotten fatigue. And I actually read about micro, the point of micro USB is so all the fatigue is on the cord or as much as possible so that uh, that's the part that you replace. Which also means that that's, you know, going to be the source of an issue is going to be the cable. So make sure. Anyway, uh, I really appreciate everybody watching and subscribing. And I uh, even check out a video of a weird little USB power brick that actually is pretty darn cool with a little diagnostic display. Anyway, if you haven't subscribed, please do. Until next time, Caddis Maximus out.